it wasn't very good but then i wanted to you know challenge myself and i signed up for n2 and um i studied really hard as well at one point i was like ah oh, why was i even studying all of this i don't know you know? welcome back to part 2 of episode 1 preparing for japan today we're going to continue our talk with our two special guests from AFS Japan Koshima san and Bando san In our talk, we're going to explain rules and regulations, which is a very important part of for all the AFS exchange students that are going to Japan sooner. Yes, I am Yap. I'm Yeant. Once again, thank you for tuning in to this episode, and we hope that you enjoy what we have prepared today as well. Yoroshiku yep, onegaishimasu. Thank you very much. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yep. So. Now, um, since we're talking a bit about life in Japan, right? Mm-hmm. Can we maybe ask, um, what do local people expect of exchange students? What should exchange students be aware of, or what should they mm. try to do or try to achieve while they are in Japan? Mm. I think, uh, local people, like as even like as people from, uh, in school or dormitory or even your host family, they expect you to be. A leader of your country, as Miss um, Bandos mentioned earlier, um, you are the you are the you know representative of your mm, the your ambassador country. ambassador yeah <laughs> mini ambassador of your country. So we expect you to be a leader of your country. So we want to know about your country and we want to you know know about your family and we want to know about your mm. school as well. So I think it it's good for you to you prepare some pictures or some you know mm-hmm. uh, stuff you can you know introduce your country or school mm-hmm. or your family. So I think the people in Japan can know better about you. Mm-hmm. And also we want you to be highly motivated in studying and the top quality. You know, and, you know. So I know some of you. Are you know not familiar with Japanese language, so mm-hmm. still learning from the you yeah. know basic Japanese. But still, we want you know you to try to use Japanese, mm-hmm. even though you only know yeah. about you, you only know saying konnichiwa or oyasumi nasai. Mm-hmm. But still, we want to listen. Mm-hmm. You know, you want to hear yeah. you, you using Japanese. Mm-hmm. And also, we want you to act as a bridge between your country and Japan. So mm. I know, as you said, um, you will face many difficulties uh, while you are mm. in Japan because living in Japan is totally different uh, from your life mm. in your country. Mm, yeah. Very true. And yeah, sometimes That's... it's too too shocking. But still, um, we want you to you know have an open mind. To accept those uh, differences. I mean, different mm-hmm. is not bad. Mm-hmm. Different is kind of yeah. you know. It's uh, so we want you to enjoy mm-hmm. to know the differences between Japan and your country, and then become a bridge between two countries. Mm-hmm. And of course, um, this program project is a learning cultural program. But mm-hmm. still, we want you to study. <laughs> you know, subject mm-hmm. in school yeah. and also study Japanese. Yeah. Yeah. So for students who actually uh, want to test out their Japanese language proficiency or how much mm-hmm. they have studied during the exchange program, I believe mm-hmm. AFS Japan also provide them the annual JLPT test. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, can you please explain a bit about it as well? Um, Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, for the second batch student, uh, all second batch students must take the exam. Oh. And, yeah, the <laughs> exam was conducted in uh, uh-huh. December. So this is mm-hmm. uh, last year, December first. Mm-hmm. Um, and this year, December second, uh, seventh. Mm-hmm. So uh, we will register the students' record and apply for the test. And uh, we arrange uh, the transportation to the test center, mm-hmm. and also the fee is covered by AFS Japan, so students oh. doesn't have to pay for it. 
Yeah. And uh, if uh, the it takes like two months or so to receive the mm -hmm. results, but we will provide the results to students. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Because for the first mm -hmm. batch, taking JLPT was optional. Yeah. Oh, optional. yeah. For yeah. the second batch, it was for everyone. <laughs> but I think um, this <laughs> this JLPT was actually one of the biggest accomplishments in my exchange program because mm. before I came to Japan, I actually didn't know any Japanese at all. But um, so I had to. I had three months before the exam, and I had to study day and night, <laughs> like nearly every day. Um, it's not because I wanted, I was very interested in the Japanese language. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I, I actually skipped one level and applied for the N4. Oh. Um, and uh, I managed to pass pass it with uh, with yeah, with my oh. mark. So, oh, it, it, was, it was it was it was it was actually I was actually mm. very happy and it was one of the best memories of my exchange program because mm. when I got the test results I just jumped around in front mm. of my LP. Yes, I agree with Yayin. So um it was similar for me, but I had studied Japanese for five years before going to oh. Japan, but my mm. Japanese still wasn't very good. But then I wanted to, you know, challenge myself and I signed up for N2 and um, I studied really hard as well. At one point, I was like, oh, why was I even studying all of this? I don't know. You know, I was like really frustrated and wanted to give up, but I didn't. And I think it was definitely a good decision to try to, you know, challenge myself, especially during my exchange program regarding the language as well, because that was how I that was a part of how mm. I made the best out of my exchange program, how I made the best out of my experience. Mm. Yeah, so mm. I definitely agree. And when I got my results, I was in my LP's house. I was at my LP's house and I was and I announced the results to her and she was like, Yeah, I went to and we was we were both jumping about <laughs> joy as well. Yeah, so I can definitely relate to Yayin's story. Yeah. Mm. This is this is the best way to keep yourself motivated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, we have talked a lot about the fun parts, and mm -hmm. now I want to ask one question, uh, which is mm -hmm. like, what are the basic rules and regulations of AFS? Um, things students have to be aware of or look out for. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the rules and regulations are also important because. Uh, this is what makes an exchange student the best. So, mm -hmm. can you please uh, tell us a bit about rules and regulations? Okay, so we have a um, lot of uh, rules and regulations. Yeah. So I'm not gonna say yeah, everything. Just the important here. one. Yeah. 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 What yeah. every exchange student students should know. Yeah. Okay. So of course, um, uh, we need to um, abide in a country and a local rules and regulations. So that means no illegal activities. Mm -hmm. So you definitely mm -hmm. need to know Japanese um, laws before you come into mm -hmm. Japan. So, for example, mm -hmm. like uh, driving a car under eight, under um, seven, seventeen, eighteen. 18 or sm yeah, yeah, smoking or drinking um, under 20 or so like, like this kind of yeah. rules and yeah. also AFS have rules like um, we do not accept uh, we do not allow you to do some um, dangerous activities like a bungee jumping or skydiving yeah. those kind of yeah. activities we do not allow you yeah. to do it but if you want to try some activities, for example, like a horse riding or doing karate or judo mm -hmm. at school, um, you can do it. But first, you need to get the permission from, mm -hmm. uh, from your parents. So mm -hmm. AFS is the one who, who asks your parents to write the permission for you. So if you do want to do some activities, you need to ask permission to AFS. So AFS will, you know, prepare something for you. Mm -hmm. And also we do not 
um, uh, encourage you to have trouble with your、um, natural families because you only、mm-hmm. have like ten, only ten months or even like six months in Japan. And、mm-hmm. I know you want to show your family to look around Japan, how nice、mm-hmm. Japan is. I I know you want to show that to your family, <laughs> but <laughs> you can do it after your study. You know,、mm-hmm. in Japan,、mm-hmm. you can come back again. So while you are on this program, I really am, you know want to ask you not to you know invite your family from your country. Just tell them、mm-hmm. like you know Japan is nice. So I I would study、uh, Japan really hard, Japanese really hard, and I will master、mm-hmm. Japanese so that I can you know take you to Japan and show you around after this program、mm-hmm. like this. So during the program,、uh, we do not, you know, encourage you to, you know, invite your natural family from your country, and、mm. we also、um, tell、um, all students about the rules of using smartphones and social media.、Um, mm. We had some、um, troubles for both our hard first batch students and second batch students. I know, like、um, you are digital native, you know, children. <laughs> yeah, you you born with your smartphone, right?、Mm-hmm. But、um, I think the idea of、uh, privacy is a little bit different from Japanese culture and your culture. So、mm-hmm. at the orientation, we tell you, you know, about the important rules about how to、mm-hmm. use smartphone and social media. So these kind of rules are the you know main things we usually tell you、uh, during the orientation.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree because like these rules, even though、um, exchange students out there, you might feel they are a bit、um, restrictive and whatnot. But remember that、mm. those rules are also designed to make for、yeah. you to make the yeah, best、definitely. out of your、definitely. own exchange yeah. program. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it's yeah. that and it's designed to help you as well to、um, mm. The best out of your exchange program for yourself and for、mm. the people around you, for the local、mm. community as well.、Mm. So that's something、mm. that we will definitely、yeah. keep in mind. Yeah. yeah, I think it is also very important to pay attention during the orientation, uh, <laughs> uh, so that、uh, you can keep in mind those rules. You, yeah,、um, yeah. they don't. You don't have to always be so strict about them, but just keep in mind and just have the best time. Um, in Japan,、mm. yep. Yeah, and AFS Japan will also provide you handbooks, so you can、yes. print them、mm. out、mm. and go through them when you have time.、Mm. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Regarding all of this, um, so just now you talk about a travel waiver or like something that your family will need to, your natural family、mm. will need to sign if you want to um go somewhere or do something dangerous.、Mm-hmm. How about like documents? Other documents? Are there any other documents that um? Students or their natural families will need to sign. What documents should they be aware of in general? Okay. Ah,、uh, so we were talk.、Uh, we were talking about、uh, travel waiver, and then ah,、uh, we need it because、uh, we have to ah、uh, make sure that parents know about ah、uh, the place where ah、uh, students go. Ah.、Mm-hmm. Um, For safety and also activity waivers, we talked about it. If they would like to do some、uh, kind of dangerous, risky sports, and we need permission from students. And also, if、uh, students、uh, do not feel well and would like to go to clinic for for women especially, or、um, like uh, dentally. Uh, They would like to、uh, see the counselor.、Uh, in that case, they need、uh, permission from、uh, parents, like、uh, for medical reasons. And also, if students、uh, have an accident and uh, receive uh, X-ray, and、uh, in that case, we will、uh, obtain permission from parents. And also,、uh, in winter, especially.、Uh, Uh, fall is uh, prevent. Uh, how can I say? Ah,、uh, no, 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 no. Ah,、uh, uh, fall. Ah,、uh, fall shot. Ah,、uh, students. Ah,、uh, take some students take ah、uh, fall shot, and in that、oh. case, yeah, 
uh, we will receive uh, uh, provision from parents mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. because you know mm -hmm. uh, just yeah. in case uh, parents know the side effects and yes. uh, in dormitory students uh, for dormitory students uh, there is a high possibility that they will take a uh, full shot and the mm -hmm. uh, shot fee is not covered by uh, AFS uh, because it's not mandatory Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I believe yeah, it is very important to be healthy before the exchange program and during the exchange program. But there can be challenges like having health problems during the exchange program. So I think please ask your LP or your local chapters once you feel sick, because mm -hmm. uh, it's not good to keep it to yourself. It's not good being sick during the exchange program and trying so hard and going to school. So once you feel sick, I think um, tell your host family or the mm. responsible people in your dorm or your LP and go straight to the clinic or uh, mm. get a checkup. And I think mm. it's, uh, health is also really important, especially the student exchange students staying in the really cold regions. Um, mm. Yeah, because the climates may not be the same in each country, and mm. J J winter in Japan is really cold, as we experienced. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Talking about health, um, do you maybe have any advice for what anyone should do when they are sick or they might be feeling unwell? Mm -hmm. You mean uh, yeah, a student someone, needs? Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah, exchange students, if they are feeling unwell, should they go to... Um, a clinic immediately should they approach their host family their LP first what should they do uh, first if you're staying with host family ask your host family tell them mm. like you're not feeling well then they can take you to clinic mm. or hospital to to have checkup or mm. if you are living in um, school dormitory um, you need to tell uh, your um, dormitory master first that you are not feeling well then I think they will contact your LP to have help uh, from your LP mm -hmm. so don't you know judge by yourself like you know you just mm -hmm. I mean usually you just keep you know uh, yourself like mm -hmm. oh this gonna mm -hmm. be okay you know tomorrow mm -hmm. I will feel better but mm -hmm. I think this will just make you make sick really worse so if you're just feeling unwell tell mm -hmm. your host family or LP you know immediately mm -hmm. then we can help you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep AFS Japan provides um, the insurance is actually covered as well in your exchange mm -hmm. program and AFS Japan yeah. does provide support for you if yes. you have any health problems. Mm -hmm. So yeah. don't worry, we have, uh, yeah. don't be afraid to speak up about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we also have will be provided with a health insurance card, I think, by the uh, town hall um, yes. yeah, during our exchange program. And for my city, for example, mm -hmm. um, Clinic fees and all are free for high school students if they have a health insurance card. Um, oh. So yeah, for my city because it's not a very big city. And, um, oh, yeah. oh, oh, that's rare yeah. as well. Yeah. Mm. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Some cities, yeah, they do have oh. that kind yeah. of yeah support. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are two uh, important things. One, if you take medicines, uh, please take uh, like a description with the medicine so mm. that LP can read it, uh, what kind of medicine mm. you usually oh. use. Mm. One. And two, uh, if you are sick and you may feel lonely, maybe you would like to talk to your mom and dad, but because the mm. ocean device <laughs> You know, uh, in Japan, a <laughs> yeah. new country, and uh, parents are very worried, and mm. uh, maybe you know, uh, think in a wrong way, in a mm. very pessimistic way. Mm. So, uh, whenever you have problems that you cannot solve, and uh, try to reach uh, a host school or a host family or LP, because mm. they are they know how to deal with them. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, I agree. For the future yep. batches, please don't reach out immediately to your natural family <laughs> if you face any problem. Yep. You'll make them worry and then they will contact yep. your um yep. the AFS mm. your country and AFS Japan might not have a full story yep. of what happened yet and it <laughs> cause a lot yep. of confusion and chaos. So mm. uh, I think that's something we should probably be yep. aware of. Mm. You have to be aware of that your LP is also very experienced and mm-hmm. yep, yes. You should trust AFS Japan as well because AFS Japan mm. is very experienced as well and they know how to handle situations like right. those. So we're drawing near to our last question and uh, we would, uh, this question is uh, important for students who is going to be in Japan soon. Um, how should they prepare prior to their departure, before their departure, mm-hmm. um, such as packing the yep uh, and language and money you can bring and all that yes uh, language is very important to build a rapport and yeah. so the more you study the more you feel comfortable in japan yeah. so there are several uh, online lessons and mm-hmm. uh, uh if you go to the bookstores uh you can see some books so mm-hmm. language is important for communication mm-hmm. and also a uh, medical checkup for instance cavity uh if mm-hmm. you have uh, you know uh the tooth pain and uh it's not if it's not emergency uh the fee must be covered by students so uh mm-hmm. before uh, coming to japan please uh go and see the den- dentist Mm-hmm. And also, if you wear glasses, it will be better. Mm-hmm. You have another glasses, mm-hmm. uh, just in case. Yeah. Yep. yep. I have a funny story about that. Because mm-hmm. when I first went to Japan, the first night I was in Japan, my glasses broke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were staying at a hotel in Tokyo for our orientation. And my oh. glasses broke that night. So like for a week during the orientation and... um. Yeah, and after the orientation as well, I had to wear contact lenses. And on the first oh. week, I reached my, I reached Nagoya. Yeah, the mm. chaperone had to tell my host family that I oh, just broke my glasses, and they <laughs> brought me immediately to the store to get new glasses. <laughs> oh. yeah, so I think having yeah. spare glasses or extra contact lenses is definitely mm. a need. Mm. Definitely a need. Mm. Although it's, you probably won't think it happened it will happen and hopefully it won't happen but you will never know <laughs> yeah, yeah. You never know you never know, yeah, you will know, never know. It's it, it happened right. for the second batch student too we oh. were doing sports festival <laughs> at the orientation oh. and some boy yeah one boy broke his glasses so yeah definitely you need to have spare glasses yeah it's mm. always best to be prepared <laughs> yeah and, and so, yeah also yeah. packing and 20 mm. kilogram uh yeah. if they are regulation uh because some students take domestic flight and uh mm. they have the mm. uh, limitation of the uh weight of the luggage mm-hmm. and also um this year uh, uh when people uh, take a bullet train shinkansen uh, if you have a uh, big luggage and uh, you have to make a um, reservation and you have to pay additional fee if your luggage oh. is very so mm. <laughs> students must be very careful uh, try not to bring all items in your room for instance <laughs> <laughs> <I do. laughs> bring necessary items mm. uh, yes it, it was a difficult <laughs> task for us before coming to Japan yeah. because we have to yeah. try so hard just to well mm. just to fit every necessary things in 20 kilograms and yeah it was really really hard yes and uh, AFS is actually quite strict about this so for the yeah. third batch please keep this in mm. mind and don't mm. pack over 20 kg mm. and yeah. AFS Japan actually provides some guidelines in its handbook as mm. to what you should pack mm. and what clothing mm. you should prepare as I believe mm. um, some of us are from tropical countries and we haven't experienced all four seasons. And all mm. four seasons require different types of clothing as well. So don't be too worried about that and refer to the AFS Japan guidelines. Mm. Mm. 
that would be my advice. Okay. And uh, also, uh, students uh, will receive a stipend, but uh, if they have some money, cash or uh, activated, activated uh, debit card or credit card uh, might be better, would be helpful. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also cell phone, uh, AFS Japan will provide students with cell phone, but the uh, mm. cell phone uh, is only two megabytes. So if you'd like to send many photos to some people, uh, the, you know, their storage is very limited. And mm. uh, you may be able to bring your cell phone, but in that case, um, you need to have SIM card and uh, mm. uh, Sakura Mobile and other mm. uh, shops. Uh, uh, mm. We will uh, provide the information of SIM card and uh, mm. we can use it in Japan. And uh, also, uh, yeah, uh, I told that uh, necessary documents like medicine with descriptions will be better. Mm. And uh, also school items. Some host schools uh, uh, may ask students to bring like a uh, white t-shirt and short mm. hand for uh, oh. physical education classes or mm. white sneakers for gymnastics. Mm. So uh, please keep in mind that uh, you need to break some items because mm. of the school's uh, request. Yeah, mm -hmm. but for my school, um, they actually provided me with everything. So refer oh. to your school for that mm -hmm. and don't panic too much about the school mm -hmm. items that you need. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, the everything. same as my school. Oh. Mm, yeah. Mm. So regarding the cell phone as well, AFS Japan does provide you with information if you want to use mm. your own cell phone in Japan. And mm. a suggestion, but it actually wouldn't be ideal for future students to actually bother your host family or your LP or the people around you regarding your cell phone problem. Yeah, so <laughs> it's best that you go prepared. <laughs> mm. Yep. So I think we might be reaching the end of our interview. One very yeah. last question for both of you, <laughs> Mado sang and Goshima sang. Okay. Any last advice for future students? Yep, any message. Um, mm -hmm. Any message? Um oh, well what what should I say? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh just be prepared for the big challenge. Um, mm. I know as Bandosan san said, langu learning language is very important part of, of this um, exchange program. So I know um, our program has been postponed. Uh, you were supposed mm. to be in Japan in April, but because of this uh, COVID-19 situation, we had to you know, postpone this program. But still, um, um, you got like plenty of time of studying Japanese. So use this time <laughs> wisely and be, you know, prepare. And mm. most, I mean, all, all of us are very excited and, and we are very, mm. you know, very much waiting for you to meet you in the end mm. of August. So just be prepared for the big cha challenge and changes and don't be, you know, afraid to try new things. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Bandosan, san do you have any messages for the third batch student? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we're very looking forward to seeing them. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, my advice is uh, always smile. Always <laughs> smile. <laughs> <laughs> Things will be better. Yeah. And open-minded, uh, flexibility. And uh, of course, Japan is quite different from your country, mm -hmm. but um, just difference, not good or bad. So mm -hmm. don't be judgmental and please mm -hmm. enjoy the differences and uh, new discovery and mm -hmm. be positive. And mm -hmm. what else? Mm -hmm. And yeah, because uh, Asia Kakehashi students are scholars, so mm -hmm. politeness is very important. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Please uh, 
the uh, think about uh, politeness because politeness is different mm -hmm. from uh, each country. So, awesome. and uh, last thing is Asia Kakehashi is uh, like a one big family, like mm -hmm. uh, like almost 20 countries or mm -hmm. regions of people mm -hmm. get together and have the same program. Mm -hmm. So togetherness is a key uh, word. So uh, mm -hmm. if you have time, please think about other countries like Malaysia, Vietnam, Myanmar, Cambodia, etc. So mm -hmm. you will be interested in other countries. And mm -hmm. our goal is uh, uh, you will be an active global citizen. So uh, mm -hmm. I hope, cool. you know, you are not narrow minded, you are mm -hmm. open and you are interested in the world issues and mm -hmm. other countries and mm -hmm. other people. So this is uh, just a starting point. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed, yeah. I very much agree. Yep, so mm -hmm. future students, make sure that you have the right mindset to go on an exchange program. Mm -hmm. Make mm -hmm. sure that you're ready mm -hmm. to face all the challenges. Make sure that you are ready and 100% prepared to face <laughs> everything around you and make the very <laughs> best out of your exchange program because as yeah. we have constant, as constantly yeah. repeated throughout the interview, mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. yeah, please don't be scared to make mistakes at all because you're an mm -hmm. exchange student and um, it's understandable that you make mistakes, but you only learn from your own mistakes and be a better person. So, yep. yep. Um, <laughs> thank you very much for today's talk. It was it was actually very intellectual and yes. very fun. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. um, yep. I hope you all stay safe from the COVID nineteen um, <laughs> until every, yeah until everything is normal back to normal again mm -hmm. and. Yep. <laughs> yeah, now we're nearing the end of episode one with AFS Japan. In both parts of this episode, we learn about AFS Japan, the Asia Kakiashi project, and so much more that future Kakiashi Kohais will need to be aware of. Once again, we would like to thank our guests for sparing the time to join us here today and for sharing relevant insights and their own experiences regarding the Asia Kakeyashi project. Last but not least, we would like to thank all of you for tuning in today and sticking with us this far. We hope you gain insights that will help you very much in your future. We would like to thank the entire Voices of Kakeyashi podcast team and AFS Japan for making this a reality. Check out the introduction video if you haven't already. And if it's your first time watching our podcast, check out part one of this episode as well for more information. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned for future episodes. Done it. Done